Hello. So this isn't a great video. Um, essentially, I'm just admitting to the fact that it hasn't really gone how I wanted it to go for the last couple of days. I think when it comes to alcohol, I definitely end up overindulging and in the last two days I've definitely overindulged when it comes to alcohol and it's made me not care about food and just eat whatever I want and while that is understandable as a concept and it's only two days and that's fine when it comes to the grand scheme of things, I think that I do need to reconsider just how much alcohol does affect the way that I eat. So I'm going to post just a quick little shot of my last four days that, I, that have happened since fa <laughs> phase one of my... A YouTube dieting thing so obviously in the first 20 days as you can see from my other videos I lost 10 pounds and I just sort of had a bit of a lull where I decided that I didn't really want to spend my entire day just posting or filming rather little clips of me doing this and that and here's my food, and here's some more food. Oh, and here's something interesting I did, and blah de blah de blah So, as you might have seen, the few videos during my break have been sort of, not one shot, but like one small period of time, like one sitting for eating a meal and talking to the camera which I really enjoyed actually I did like that format of filming another video again just one shot my grocery haul I, I didn't enjoy that quite as much because it felt a little bit more robotic because I was you know holding stuff up and reading from my receipt to see you know how much everything cost but still, you know, that was only a, a small part of my day, so it didn't really take too much energy. And then when it came to the recipe video, again, it was just a small part of my day. It didn't take up my whole day, so it felt a lot easier to do. But I decided that I would take this break from filming every single part of my day in order to just chill out, do whatever I wanted to do. But as a repercussion of that, I've ended up overindulging on two of the four days. As you'll see in the little screenshot that I'm going to show you, which will give you an outline. So just to give you like a brief overview, there was the day that I did the Eat With Me video where I ate the correct amount of calories. There was the following day, I did the grocery haul again. Perfect. Did, did the right amount of calories, if not too little. And then the next day came. And I decided to drink some Prosecco. And as soon as I drank the Prosecco, it was like, diet's out of the window. I'm just going to eat as much as I want. I essentially, the meal that I cooked, which was already, as you saw in the recipe video, nearly 900 calories, I had that same meal again. So I had that dinner twice. I also had some lentil chips on top of that plus a bottle of Prosecco, so that was a thing. Um, today I was out with my friend, 
we did a lot of walking we were just like picking up bits and pieces as we went we had a donut for breakfast which just started us off on the wrong foot so I just want to be completely honest and I said in my eat with me video that I was having a feast as a celebration for losing the 10 pounds but on that day I still stuck to my calorie limit yet two days later when I was not celebrating my success just because I had alcohol I ended up overindulging so it's definitely something I have to consider when it comes to the future of me dieting. I don't want to cut alcohol out of my life completely. I do think it should be something that I reserve for just when I'm going out with people. I think today was fair enough. I was with my friend, we were going out, we were having a nice time out in London. Yesterday, there was no excuse for it. I did not need to drink the Prosecco and I did and I ate more than I should have and I shouldn't have and I realise <laughs> that I'm, I am saying this to all of four subscribers that I have but I think it's important that when you're on a diet you need to consider everything that you do because it's when it comes down to it it is a lifestyle change. You need to change the way that you've been acting because the way that you were before did not work. And had I stuck to what I was doing during those 20 days, I wouldn't have had a donut today because it wasn't raw. And I was doing raw tool four, my own version of raw tool four, but I would have said, no, a donut is not raw, therefore I won't have it for breakfast. I'll find somewhere that's selling fruit instead, or I will find somewhere that's serving a salad. But because I decided to take this break between what I've referred to on my channel as phases, this has happened. So I will get back to it tomorrow. I will. Sorry about the weird break. My camera randomly <laughs> stopped it working. I think because it was too full. But yeah, basically my, my plan is I will only drink alcohol when I am out with people. And I will try to reduce the amount of alcohol that I drink when I am with them as well. I think that sometimes it is good to drink alcohol for social situations and it is nice to have a glass of wine with a meal. I think that's fine. What's the problem is that yesterday I was drinking Prosecco by myself at home to watch a TV show and that's stupid. Why did I do that? What is even the point? You're not socialising, you're not having it with a meal. I shouldn't have done that and I think it is clear that moving forward from here that is not something that I should be doing because it only sends me down the wrong path. Like alcohol already has enough calories as it is. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna post. I'm just gonna post the last four days and that'll be it and then there'll be a thank you for watching and the next day will be better. It will be. It will be better. Count on it.